Can you guys hear me now? Yes. Yeah, thank you. First of all, thanks for the opportunity to uh, spend a few moments with smart young scientists and engineers at Biocon Academy. I, I really appreciate this opportunity. And what I wanted to do was just uh, you know, share some moments uh, with you and, and uh, you know, talk about what I see. Uh, first of all, I think you all uh, require a uh, round of applause to all of you. Give yourselves a round of applause. You made the right decision by joining Biocon Academy, which is, which is as you just heard, placing uh, scientists and engineers across the industry successfully year on year. And this is the flagship program I heard this morning for Biocon Academy. So congratulations and, and all the best for the next several weeks that you would be spending here. You will be learning a lot. I'm sure, as you just heard, there's going to be cramped sessions. You, you will, there'll be a lot of stuff you will learn in science and engineering, and you know, I heard about fermentation and so on and so forth. All that is very, very important, and you will excel in all that. I know because you all chose to come here, and you all did well wherever you were to be selected into this program, right? So that is a given. But I really want you to think beyond. For the next few weeks that you're here, you will have an opportunity to work with different departments, different uh, you know um, trainers across Biocon. And as you know, Biocon is one of the leading global biopharmaceutical companies today, and we are growing by leaps and bounds. Okay, so you are in a place where there's a lot of growth happening. There's a lot of diversity, innovation and so on. Right? So you have to focus really on what is it that you want to do. Each of you will get a job. I mean, I heard that everybody was placed and everybody's happy about that. I don't think that you should limit your thinking about what, what job will I get next to this? Because I think all of you will get a job. All of you are smart. All of you have ability to deliver and contribute to the society, right? But each of you should probably spend some time as you progress through this journey to ask yourself, where is my passion? What exactly do I want to do with the opportunity that I have, right? And there is no right or wrong. Each of us will need to find our calling. And when you actually uh, do what you love to do, you will excel, right? Beyond imagination. So dream big. Ensure that you you choose to do uh, as you will get a, a various you know diverse experiences over the la next several weeks. You you need to pick the ones that you really want to pursue and then create opportunities for yourself. One of the other things I want to say is that we have actually a lot of as I said earlier as well. I strongly feel that we have excellent talent in our country. All of you are a part of that. One of the things that I think we need to do more of is ask questions and challenge each other. Ensure that we don't feel inhibited <coughs> in speaking up. If you have a thought uh, and you want to you know, question the paradigm, please do. Because only when we uh, are, are able to do that, ask the right question, articulate it <coughs> rightly, Will we arrive at solutions? And innovation is going to happen when you have this diversity of thought, and you're going to have, you know, people <coughs> questioning the status quo. Okay, just because something hasn't been done, doesn't mean it can't be done. That's the other piece that I want to share. Because I, as I, as I work with colleagues over the last <coughs> so many years in industry, I find that mostly we are limited by what we think is possible, OK? So don't think whether something is possible or not. Always ask what would be the ideal <coughs> scenario? What would, be, what would really get us to that next orbit? And dream big. And then you break it down to getting to solutions. So I think it is important to uh, cultivate a few additional habits along the way. In terms of science, I see you know, we are well-trained. 
I also see a lot of the talent that comes through in industry uh, having uh, uh, having having uh, you know whatever it takes to do the work, but there are a few habits that I would like you all to focus on as you start working. You have just come out of academia. You are going to start working in labs. One of the things that we really need to be thinking about is how we record our work. Okay, and I hope there is something in your program that talks about that. One of the areas where I feel we really need to focus is ensure that proper recording of all the work is in place because we are in a highly regulated environment and we need to ensure that everything that we do is properly documented and that also is important for us for you know when we when we file for inventions when we uh, make any breakthroughs you need to make sure that everything is properly documented right so one is that. The other is collaboration. I heard this morning that you guys are very uniquely positioned because you have colleagues from across India participating here and also Malaysia, right? So we are today in a very changing world. We are becoming global, right? The, the globe is actually getting compressed and today I'm here this evening. I'm in a different part of India and then two days I might be in a different part of the world, right? And all the organizations, uh, as they are growing, they are going to have uh, you know, the ability to work across the globe and, and uh, ac you know, access talent from across the globe. So as you heard in my, in my previous life, uh, we, I did have teams in Australia, in US, in India, Europe, working as one team. And you will have a unique opportunity here of being able to work with colleagues in Malaysia, form teams, and deliver on your projects, right? So this is something which I think Biocon Academy is uniquely providing, which, uh, which probably you will not get this kind of an experience anywhere else, right? So uh, make, make full use of it. Ensure that you leverage you know the collaborative spirit across and and deliver beyond what you any of us could do alone right so s science cannot be done alone we need to work together to make make things happen right mm -hmm. so i think it is important that uh, you focus not only on learning what is needed not only on marks which i think we have all done growing up in in, in the in the academic world but what solutions can we bring forth? Okay, how can we innovate? How can we find solutions for existing problems, right? And and the and then the jobs will follow. And and I would also encourage today in the uh, you know current scenario, we have so much happening uh, in the in the field of entrepreneurship in India. In this in the biotech space. You have opportunities all around. So you are at a very good time getting into this. When I started my career, none of these existed, right? And, and it's really nice that you have so much more available. So don't limit yourself. Think big. Think about what you want to do. Everything is possible, right? And if you believe in yourself and you have the discipline to do what it takes, you will achieve your goal. Have a goal that's big, and you will achieve it, okay? And, and I think it is important to also network. You have people from across India in this room, right? As I said, all these connections that you make here and when you work uh, across labs in, in, in Biocon, you have people from across the country but you know working in different labs and you will get to know people and these act interactions are going to enrich your lives the more diversity we are able to bring in the the better uh, will be your thought process and 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 the solution that you'll be able to bring forth right one other uh, just uh, i want to digress a little and talk a little bit about what's happening in in biocon today 
you, you all know about Biocon, <coughs> but we are actually going through um, uh, a major expansion in the company, right? So we have Biocon Group now, with, you know, Biocon Limited, which is the parent organization. And starting April this year, we actually uh, started with Biocon Biologics <coughs> India Limited as a focused organization within Biocon that is now able to work primarily on <coughs> biologics, okay? And our, our focus is to be the most inspiring global biologics organization um, delivering affordable healthcare through innovative means across the globe, okay? And, and to that, we are actually um, you know, <coughs> growing, expanding. As far as R&D is concerned, we have just acquired a, a facility in Chennai, which used to be a Pfizer facility, okay? And we are adding R&D in Chennai for Biocon Biologics in addition to the current uh, Biocon <coughs> Research Center, which probably most of you will have a chance to visit. Uh, where, where I sit, and, and uh, we will be adding um, a fairly large number of scientists and engineers working on biologics where we would be, um, you know, acquiring the talent from across the globe, okay? So, you know, there will be opportunities for you all as well to, to uh, you know, when you, when you graduate, there might be opportunities for some of you to be a part of that journey as well, okay? But Biocon <coughs> is not the only company that's in this space, as you know, right? So there are many, many opportunities in India. There are a number of companies, I don't want to name other companies, but there are companies that are doing very well in this space. And also, as I said, it's not just India, the opportunity is really global. You could be a part of <coughs> any big, Pharma working in, in on therapeutics if that's what that's where your passion lies, right? And I think the real question you may want to ask is what is it that you really want to do? Before you decide what you do, right? Because when I think about myself, I'll give you a small small example. I never thought I'd work in industry growing up. Why? Because you know my father was a professor. I also thought I'd be a professor, right? And you know, he was a PhD in biostatistics. I even entertained the idea of studying statistics, but then I thought, you know, I had a, I had a passion around finding um, cures for diseases, and that's what actually took me through a path of, you know, going into vet school and then molecular virology and oncology. And then when I did become a faculty, I thought. I really uh, achieved what I wanted to do. And I had never, ever thought that even while during I was doing my postdoc, I had people approach me about jobs in industry. I declined because I thought that's really what I wanted to do. And I, and I think I was fairly successful in getting to where I got. But really, there was a moment in my life where things changed personally, and I wanted to come back to India. At that point, there were really no funding in academia, all right? So that's what made me think, you know what? I was always thinking about cures for diseases. Maybe this is my calling. I need to work in company that is actually going to make medicines for people, right? So then I switched my focus from what I always took for granted to saying, maybe there is another way to look at this. And that actually opened up opportunities beyond imagination, right? So whatever you may be thinking today, it'll take you somewhere, but then keep, always, keep your mind always open to opportunities. And wh whether you feel at a point or time that something is disappointing, but it will really be, if you look at it positively, you'll find something that's going to be a, a positive outcome. It's about your perspective, how you look at events in your lives, right? 
So I will. I know that we are short on time. I hope I will have an opportunity to interact with you all again, and I welcome you all to Biocon Research Center whenever your schedule permits. And and uh, you know, thank you again for giving me an opportunity to share some thoughts with you all. And wish you all the best for your program. And again, congratulations for joining the program. Thank you.